Hello everybody, Vitek here and welcome to my new video. Happy to share this video with you today because this is the first video on YouTube on this particular model of the Kent Auto Water Softener 8 liters capacity. So let's quickly get started. This water softener is for your bathroom to convert your hard water to soft water uh, that you can use. As you can see here in the details mentioned, this is the 8 liter capacity model. You have the power supply ratings for this model so yes it does need electricity to run since it's an automated or automatic uh, water softening machine this comes along with the stand uh, when you purchase the device and you can see that it's already rusted because i've been using this for a year or more now uh, the softener has actually served me very well and i wanted to uh, take this time to share my findings with you and also walk you through the device and its functionality so let's get started so looking to the left of the device, you will see uh, three pipes running here. So two of these, uh, which is the one that's screwed into the machine, are the input and the output, which is connected to your main pipeline. And the one above that, which is transparent, is the uh, pipe for the reject water after regeneration, which is let out of the machine. So since this is an electric water softener, like I said earlier, it does require electricity. So you can see that at the top, I have installed a power outlet for this. And since it's out of reach, I've connected it to a Wipro smart plug. But obviously this is not a requirement for everybody. Uh, just to make it convenient when we go outside for a few days, I would want to switch this off to save some water. And that's why it is connected there. So as you can see, the machine comes with the outer body and the upper shell. The shell has to be removed if you want to change the settings of the softener as well as add salt uh, for the softener at regular intervals. Once you open the lid, you will find the electrical component here, which actually enables the automatic regeneration for this machine. So you will see that this is divided into two sections. On the left hand side, there is a knob and on the right hand side, there are uh, different dials. So currently it's in service here on the left hand side knob and this goes through different cycles as in when the regeneration is happening on its own. So you don't really have to touch it when it is in the automatic uh, function. Towards so on the right hand side, you will see 12 individual dials that can be pulled out or pulled back inside each dial signifies a day so for example if you want to regenerate the water on the second day uh, like you can see in this machine the second day dial is pulled out so just for example i've pulled out the number nine dial here and i will pull it back in now and what this does is depending on the day the dials are pulled out that's the day when the regeneration happens so if you notice there is a red uh, smaller dial here inside so for example now the next dial that is outside on my machine is the number eight so when the number eight lands on the red dial at 2 a.m on that particular day the regeneration will start so the machine is designed to regenerate water at 2 a.m uh, based on uh, its internal settings and it generally takes three and a half to four hours for the regeneration to complete and that's why it's good to have it at 2 a.m. But you can always change the time of the day to adjust it based on your schedule. If you want to do it in the evening, for example, you can change the time accordingly. The machine needs salt for the regeneration to work. And this is the chamber where you have to put in the salt. So let me remove the lid and place it aside and let me show you the compartment for salt so as you can see i have just put in the normal uh, crystal or rock salt inside uh, which is around 18 to 20 rupees a kg depending on where you buy it from the salt consumption is uh, based on the regeneration cycle that you have set uh, again the biggest disadvantage of this machine just like its manual variant is that it does not give you an indication when the water turns hard so it might be trial and error for you to understand the regeneration frequency that is required and a water testing kit uh, at home will certainly help you make the uh, decision on the frequency that is needed i will now show you the water test results of the hard water as well as the soft water from this machine 
this is the procedure of the water testing so you can pause this video for a bit and go through the procedure so you understand what i'm showing you in the next few minutes this is my other bathroom which does not have a water softener so let us first test the quality of the raw water here at my apartment and then we'll go back to the other bathroom with the softener and check the results 10 ml of water And now we will add one spoon of TH1L to the water. And then we will mix it well. Yeah, you will see the color change slowly. And then we will add 10 drops of TH2. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten and mix it well again you will see the water turns red indicating that there is hardness to calculate the hardness now we will add th5 so let's look at the number of drops I've positioned this clearly so you can see it uh, correctly here and here we go two drops three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen maybe nineteen twenty 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, still not changed to blue 34 and finally it has changed to blue so it took more than 30 drops i'm sure i've got a couple of drops uh, more while i was inserting the drops so let me take the bare minimum 30 as the number so 30 multiplied by 25 is 750 so that's the current hardness of the raw water so let's go back to the other bathroom and uh, test the softened water from the softener and see the results let's start again so the same process we will start with 10 ml of water and then let's add th1l once uh, one spoon here we go mix it well see the color change and now let us move on to add th2 10 drops one two three four five six seven eight nine ten there you go the water is red so basically indicates that there is hardness so th5 one drop is equal to 25 ppm of hardness so i'll put one drop mix it well and there you see the water turns to blue so the hardness is 25 or less at the moment Red reduction from 750 and that's a big reduction and the water is very good and uh, safe and soft to use so i hope this video was informative if you found some value please do like share and subscribe to this channel that'll mean a lot to me thank you so much and have a great day bye